What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Screen 5 again here today. So the panel that we got over today <laughs> has come and gone in Brazil. And we did get other new character posters along with the ones that we already know we got earlier this week with the trio. We did also see some new ads start to sprinkle out from people who were seen this on youtube i don't know how they're seeing it i still haven't gotten an ad like that where they're showing you different footage from the film we got to look at a new ghost face mask is going to be featured in the film like a metallic mask we did get to see a glimpse if this is ghost face presumably we got a glimpse at one of the new weapons that we know they've kind of talked about in the past that they'll be using Ghostface looks like they'll be using a flamethrower to kill someone and i'll get into a little bit more of what that could be later on in the video but at brazil basically the only thing that really happened was nev campbell went on about that letter again her and courtney cox also were talking about how incredible the young cast were and just how they felt was his present on the set of the film and the young cast that we know is going to be part of this they had little little segments throughout the throughout the panel vince's last name played by kyle gowner his last name actually got revealed in a new featurette where they were just going on about what i guess makes ghostface so iconic what makes scream so iconic what makes scream work what makes it scary and his last name vince that being seems to be schneider now i know a lot of people are already on the bandwagon also that he might be related to Stu mocker but now i've also seen people kind of write that off well no he can't be a mocker anymore or related to Stu because they don't have the same last name that doesn't really matter <laughs> when it relates to relatives i'm sure plenty of you guys have relatives where you have different last names what could have happened let's say this is actually a relative of Let's say this is the son of a sibling that Stu had. A sibling Stu had. And what happens is maybe the sibling is very much older. We, of course, didn't hear any mentions of the sibling. And she had a kid around the time of when that stuff was going on. And now the kid's all grown up. And this sibling would, of course, have to be female. Because then now she's gotten married. She has a different last name. So the kid has a different last name he could still be married to Stu in that capacity if you want to think about it like that other than that maybe he's not related to Stu. i know shout out to you aj i just saw this in our little group chat we have on twitter where you mentioned maybe this is a reference to roy schneider from jaws which if that's the case that's also very nice and uh res res very respectful on there and if that's what their intent was with that last name to pay respects to that character but as you see here, Ghostface, yes, has a metallic mask at some point in the new ad that's been floating around. Now, I will also point out that the interesting thing is that when he's using the or when they are using the flamethrower, they have a Letterman jacket on very reminiscent of what Chad is shown wearing earlier in the trailer. We saw we also see Chad get attacked wearing his Letterman jacket. So it has me curious. Is this Chad pulling out a mask that he somehow has purchased? uh that they sell in this world and of course we know that that's actually that's an actual mask that exists in our world too for the 25th anniversary is this him fighting off the killer with a flamethrower or is this ghost face having now recently just killed chad moving on to kill chad's girlfriend Liv mckenzie played by sonya amar so i think that what we see here might be Ghostface. I know I saw people say, what if that stab footage? The reasoning for that being stab footage is kind of, well, from what I've seen, it's non-existent. If anyone can put in the comment section why that could be stab footage and why it can't, why does it have to be stab footage rather? Because I've seen people say it has to be stab footage. Why does it have to be stab footage? Why can't this be something inventive, something fresh, something unique from Ghostface repertoire in this new film? Why does it not feel as grounded to you if you think that him using or them using a flamethrower isn't grounded i would say this is much more grounded than the full-blown house explosion that we got in scream 3 i would say that this is way more grounded and what i'm also thinking of where they could have gotten the flamethrower from maybe this is something that chad had lying around in the yard or wherever it is that he's gonna get attacked which you know we see him get attacked at some point in this film maybe that's where they got it from or maybe when chad gets attacked maybe that's at the mocker house or something something about where chad is attacked i i want to say is where they got this flamethrower from the other thing i want to talk about was of course just going into whether or not with that flamethrower 
uh, not the flamethrower, but the mask, the metallic mask. The metallic mask, I'm not going to say I'm the biggest fan of it, but if it's something that's just thrown on specifically for the use of the flamethrower and then it's dis discarded, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. And it's also important to remember that we haven't seen anything that would indicate that the metallic mask is going to be the, the, the dominant mask this time around. I mean, honestly, if that's the case, I'll talk about that in, in a review, what my thoughts are on it. I just don't I just don't see the ghost face, the main ghost face killer wearing a metallic mask. I see the main ghost face killer wearing the traditional white mask that we've been seeing predominantly throughout most of the footage we're seeing and other little tidbits that we've been getting ever since the marketing started ramping up on October 12th. So at this point in time, the movie is, I think, almost less than six weeks away. So we're so close, so close to this movie finally. Uh, I know again at the at the panel we were expecting a little bit more. Maybe on Monday we will get that trailer. As far as like Ghostface using the flamethrower again, like I just want to know if you think that that's not realistic. Why is it not, not realistic? I mean, this is is more this is way more realistic again than the house just randomly blowing up like it did in Scream Three. This is much more grounded. Uh, not as something that I would say far fetched. Not at all. I don't think it's far fetched, not at all. And I know that we all are excited. Can't wait to see what, how the movie plays out rather on screen. Can't wait to see who the killers are. Can't wait to talk about it after the fact and go into spoilers, share what we think is going to happen next. But I was satisfied with what we got at the panel. I wish we got, we got a little something more, but I was satisfied. We did actually get with that interview that I was talking about. We might get with the image of Sydney and Courtney Cox. That's exactly what we ended up getting. We got to see the full footage of the image that had been released earlier in the week that was getting spread around on twitter of the two doing press for the film so i'm really looking forward to this also in that new snippet we did see that there's going to be like a daylight kill it looked like this was around judy hicks's house so i'm guessing that's when judy hicks will bite the dust just a guess but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below what did you think about what we got during the panel if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss the video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video